this lesson, we're going to cover how the filter function can be used in Google Sheets when you're working with date criteria. In our first example, we're going to filter based on a date range. In our second example, we're going to filter based on a single month. And in our last example, we'll filter based on a year. So you can see here we have client payment history for the months of December, January, and February. And in our first illustration, we want to filter based on this date range. You can start typing equals and FIL, hit tab, the filter function will pop up there. For our first input, it's our range, that's the data set we want to filter on. So I'm going to click on this leftmost cell, hit control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. That will select that entire data set. Our second argument is our first condition. Well, that's going to be our criteria range, which is our date column. And we want anything in that column that is greater than or equal to the begin date of our date range. I'm going to copy this column range reference here because that's going to be our second condition column criteria as well. But this time, we want anything that is less than or equal to the end date of our date range. And you can see this pulls back everything that falls between that date range we specified. So now if we wanted to filter based on a single month, what we would do is select our data set again. This time we're going to insert the month function. And what the month function does is it returns the numerical month of a date value in Google Sheets. So if I applied the month function to this date value here, January 5th, 2020, it would return a value of one. So we're gonna insert our entire criteria column in this month function, and we want anything equal to January, which is a value of one that the month function returns. You can see that filters everything for the month of January. Now, if we wanted to tweak this and filter by year, I can hit F2 to go back into the filter function. I'm going to change this to the year function, which works almost exactly the same way as the month, and filter based on the year 2019. You can see this returns all the payments that occurred in 2019. So that is how you can work with the filter function when you have dates in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.